soapy peoples of the world. I know you were expecting some kind of amazing Christmas soap, but this video is made for the forgotten few. Those people who have shared their special days with the other biggest birthday of the year. Yes, I'm talking Christmas. Today's soap starts with a drawing because I work better with a picture when I have to do math. The soap is basically four layers. The top layer has a candle embed. The math is figuring out how much batter each layer needs so that I can make sure I can leave room for the candle and that my cake isn't lopsided. Although a lopsided birthday cake would be nostalgic. Welcome fractions and sixth grade math. Who knew we would actually use you? saw earlier made it possible for me to do this and this. The cakey layers are colored with titanium dioxide and the soap shreds give it that funfetti box cake look because just like real life I appreciate homemade but from a box is easier. Using the stick blender at this stage makes the shreds smaller and give it that more speckled look. It's starting to look real. Second verse, same as the first. I have limited containers, so I need to reuse. I'm going to skip showing you the prep for this layer since it's just a repeat. Today's soap is fragranced with black raspberry vanilla. This fragrance behaves well and is a fan favorite. Pink frosting in the middle. We could say it's raspberry jam. Are you drooling yet? A trick for doing layers is juggling how fast you allow your batter to set up. You want the layers you pour to set up while the layers in your containers to stay liquid. Time can be your friend and also your enemy. Stick blending can help speed things up and also put you in a lurch. It's like cutting hair. You can always make it shorter, but you can't make it longer again. You can always make your soap thicker, but you can't make it liquid again. Or rather, you can if you use some tricks, but that's for another video. The blue layer is an in-the-pot swirl. To do this, I need to make an accent color. I will just lighten up a bit of the blue. That did the trick. And now the birthday candle embeds. I made these the day before with soap dough. At this point, I realized that although I did the math, I didn't really measure how far down I should press my embeds. I decide to push them until they give me a little resistance, a little guess. A swirly top and some glitter make this complete. So, December birthday people. You will notice no Christmas wrapping paper today. There is no Christmas music. Today is all about you. There will be no shared Christmas and birthday present. No afterthought and oops, I forgot. And because of COVID, there will be no Christmas program on your day of days or office holiday party, or white elephant gift exchange, or open house. Wow, do I sound bitter? Question. Is it better to have your birthday right before Christmas or right after? The 22nd or the 27th? Leave me a comment for discussion. I have some thoughts on this. And folks, this is my happy birthday soap. It will be wrapped in paper with happy birthday and candles on it. There will be absolutely no green and red. 
Happy birthday, December babies. May all your birthday wishes for 2021 come true. So until next Sunday, remember, great soap doesn't have to be boring. Bye-bye.